Hey guys, awesome to see you here. Pete here again from Pete's Tools. Today I want to talk about my favourite subject. It's the PT31 Plasma Torch. I love these torches. They're awesome torches. Uh, I'll tell you a few tips and tricks about them. And uh, all you need to know about replacing your consumables and getting better life out of your torch. Anyway guys, watch my video, see what you think. And always remember guys, if you like my videos, subscribe down the bottom there. Click me a like and drop me a comment. Now the PT31 Plasma Torch is probably one of my favourite plasma torches. Uh, I don't know if you guys watch my videos before, but I like uh, to get a bargain. And these, this is about the cheapest torch you can get to run with your uh, plasma cutter. Um, a lot of the Chinese plasma cutters, uh, 50 amp and under, run these PT31 torches. And uh, you can see why, because they're a good little torch. They're, they're universal, they're easy to replace, they're cheap to replace, and uh, they normally have no dramas with them. It's not even worthwhile fixing them, really. Um, it's just easier just to put another torch on the end of your lead and, and be done with it. So uh, we'll pull one to bits and we'll, we'll have a look, eh? So we've just got the, um, the ceramic cap, as usual. We've got a uh, extendable tip. We've got a uh, swirl ring. And we've got an extendable double-ended electrode. Now, I love these double-ended electrodes because, uh, like in the name, double-ended, you just flick them over when you wear one end out. And you're good to go again. So you get, uh, you should get two electro. You should get two. Spin this over twice for one uh, for one nozzle. So you burn it out once, in other words, and then it's getting hard to cut. So you just flick it over and do it again. And then by the time you burn out the second one, it's time to replace your nozzle, and then you're away. So that's all. Uh, that's all very very good and dandy. But there also another reason why I like these torches is because they come in. Um, Nickel plated as well. There's nickel plated consumables like that. It's exactly the same as the copper plated one for your PT31 torch. Exactly the same as that, but it's nickel plated. And I find that the nickel plated uh, just lasts a little bit longer. Well, that's what I find anyway. And once again, it is um, double ended. You just uh, stick it in there and you uh, turn it over when you're ready to do another one, and away you go. And of course, you match it up with the uh, nickel plated um, nickel plated cutting nozzle there as well. So uh, that's a couple of reasons why I. Um, wire like that and also guys if you guys need to replace your torch like this is really easy to replace just click up above i've got a video on how to replace your uh, your plasma torch in under 10 minutes i mean it's pretty it's pretty simple sort of stuff and um these also come in not only the nickel plated and the copper but they also come in nickel plated and copper but they come in shorter consumables now this is if you if you're wanting a specific sort of work like getting in tight somewhere or getting in different angles and that sort of thing. Once again, click above if you want to see a video on uh, the use of these shorter consumables for your PT31 torch. But um, the shorter ones, once again, they fit into the same torch body. There's, you don't have to change the torch body to put the shorter consumables in. You just um, stick them in like that and you use the same swirl ring that you have. And you put it like, like so. And then, of course, you have to use the shorter cutting nozzle. Put the shorter cutting nozzle on there. And just use the original, original cap, like so. Screw it all together, and there you go. Bob's your uncle, and you got a shorter version of it. And uh, the difference is, being shorter, of course, is it doesn't stick out so far. You see that? This is a longer version, shorter version. Exactly the same torch body. You can use either one and either one. So uh, yeah, that's why I like the PT31, uh, PT31 consumables. They're, they're awesome and they're cheap. And I like cheap. I like a bargain. There's some links down below if you want to get some of these PT31 consumables. Um, yeah, but I think they're awesome. For what they are, they're really good. And your PT31 torch might come in this style. It might look like this. Or it could look like this. This is a pencil version of it, like for a CNC machine or something like that. But once again, they all have exactly the same torch head. And all these consumables are interchangeable. Just remember, when you're using shorter consumables, use a short... A short cutting tip with a short electrode, double-ended electrode. And it doesn't even matter if you've got a copper cutting tip and a um, nickel-plated electrode or vice versa. It makes no difference at all. Just keep them, keep the short with the short and the long with the long. It doesn't matter if one's nickel-plated and one's not. It makes no difference whatsoever. Just the short with the short and the long with the long. You've just got to remember that. And um, these ceramic cups, these get... I don't know if you guys noticed it, they're like if you drop your torch or something or you just knock at something quite heavy, these crack, 
But once again, they're as cheap as chips. You buy them in boxes of tin, like so. Um, you just grab a box of tin. You know, I don't know how much they are. Five bucks or something ridiculous. It's, it's not very expensive for a box of tin. Might be six bucks or something. But um, yeah, they're really good torches. And um, like I said, I wouldn't be without it. I wouldn't be without a. Wouldn't be without one of these torches. Uh, the cheapest to run, like I say, for a, for an under 50 amp machine. But well, these are HF torches too, guys. Remember the HF, the high frequency start torches. These are not Pilot Arc. If you want to know the difference between HF and Pilot Arc, just click up the top. I'll, I'll put a link up the top there right now. And I'll uh, lead you to another video that will explain all the difference and, and what you might need if you're going to buy a new plasma cutter. Um, Anyway guys, that's about it for uh, for this video. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you like my channel, subscribe. Remember, drop me a line down below. I'm always uh, glad to hear your views and stuff. And maybe your um, maybe your 50 amp cutting machine or under 50 amp doesn't run a torch like this. Maybe it runs something different. So uh, I wouldn't mind uh, learning about that as well. Anyway guys, like I say, if you like my video, subscribe. And I'll be glad to see you here next time. Cheers.